So I had to write this script twice because I accidentally deleted my old script. And that was really annoying because it took me like an hour to write my previous script. And I was going to take another hour to write the script. And I don't know, it's just so stupid of me to do that. But you know, let's just move on. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I've gotten Destiny 2 recently on my PC. And that was for a reason. That reason was to level up all three characters before Faction Rally started so that I could get Faction Weapons before Faction Rally ended. Uh, I did th I did this because you know I, you know I want factual weapons to play around with when I, I'm playing in Crucible and you know test them out PC and see how they work and see how they play play with. So I got Destiny 2 on my PC, but there was one problem. Factual really started the day I got Destiny 2 on PC because I forgot that Factual really actually starts this week and not next week. God damn, that means I I'll only have enough time to level up two characters and only get we weapons f for for those two characters. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, there goes all of Dead Orbit for me. All of the weapons, everything I want. There goes all of it on my PC. God damn it. I really, really wanted to use that 7, 720 auto rifle. Ugh. Oh, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I can, I can handle that. Wait. I also have a lot of assessments to do. And I'm not the... I'm not that productive when it comes to doing assignments. Ugh. Oh, there goes a huge chunk of my time. And that means I only have enough time to level up one character. Well, there goes New Monarchy, because no matter how good their shaders look, I will never give away my chance of getting that sexy Future War Cult 540 RPM Pulse Rifle. Wait, I also have a lot of assessments to do, and I'm not the I'm not that productive when it comes to doing assignments. Oh, there goes a huge chunk of my time, and that means I only have enough time to level up one character. Well. There goes New Monarchy, because no matter how good their shaders look, I will never give away my chance of getting that sexy Future War Cult 540 RPM Pulse Rifle. But there is one silver line to this, and that is I'll be able to get these faction weapons next faction rally. The next faction rally. The one that's after Season 2. The Season 2 where they introduced new faction weapons. And if we look at Bungie's track record, these factions are most likely going to replace their old weapons. Frederick, get the noose! Doing this also has benefits to the community as well. The first one is that it will get rid of seasonal, seasonal exclusivity. Now, I'm not, I have nothing wrong with a little bit of exclusivity. You know, you got to have a little bit of it. But just not seasonal exclusivity. Because how would you feel if you were a new player and you saw all these players in Crucible using that OP... Future Walker Pulse Rifle, and you think, wow, I really need one of those, but then you realize you can't because you didn't play Destiny 1 when it came out. Then your world goes crashing down, and because of this, you, because you can't get this awesome Future Walker 540 RPM Water Rifle, you get so depressed, you lose your job, your wife, your children hate you, and your dog dies, and worst of all, you suck a Crucible. Now, this is all because you couldn't get the Future Walker 540 RPM Pulse Rifle. Because it's been taken out of the goddamn loot system. Bungie, do you, do you want this? Do you want my dog to die? Do you really want him to die? Look at him. Look at his adorable eyes. Do you want him to die? You are terrible if you do. No? Or you don't? Well, goddamn, don't take it out of the loot system. Okay? And the system also allows for newer players to get the older weapons and make it so that their loot table is a lot bigger and the, the, the weapons that they can choose from is a lot bigger. And that means they can have more weapons to use, and it makes it a lot the game a lot more fun, and gives them a lot more things to do. So it's it's just it's just a good thing to, to keep overall. So Bungie, don't take it out, please. Now there is one problem when keeping the old weapons in the loot table when you add new weapons, and that is that you, you will be getting you'll get really annoying when you're trying to get new faction weapons, but you keep getting the old ones, uh, old weapons and armor over and over again, and because you, you because you are having all these old weapons. In the same loot table it makes it a lot harder for you to get the new weapons and even harder to get the weapons that you want but i think i have a solution for this problem and that is to use a, sy a system like the system that the f old factions used in destiny one and if you don't know what i'm talking about it was a system where you would get a choice if you would like to get weapons weapon or armor pieces to drop when you open a package this system was really good because it gave you a choice if you uh, if you just want weapons or armor to drop at once and it, it just added a, a, a massive array of consumer choice and allowing you to choose what you want and players to choose what they want it was, it was a really good system now this system could be repurposed to fix this problem 
that with the loot table, with the loot system in Destiny 2. And the system that I have thought up could fix all these problems. The system would allow you to choose if you would like to get Season 1 loot to drop or Season 2 loot to drop. The way it would work is that you would go up to the, uh, the specific vendor and you would look at it and you, where the ingram, where the ingram, well, you would go to grab, where it normally would be, there would be two ingrams. And the names of these ingrams would be Season 1 and Season 2. When you click on one of those, you would get whatever loot is in Season 1 and it would lose in Season 2. Now this system could be expanded to make it so that you can include Season 3 and Season 4. Now there are some drawbacks to the system, like, you know, what happens once it reaches next year? Well, um, I could say that um, this, uh, Bungie will most likely reset the, all the loot in the next expansion. So, or next, in next DLC, they're probably going to reset all the loot to an, a whole new loot system. So, I'm guessing that that's what they'll probably do. And uh, there won't be any need. Or they could just change it, the whole entire system, completely so it looks different. And so that accommodates for this kind of look. Now, this, this system would be great, because it would put different season weapons and armor in their own loot table, so that they won't pollute each other and make it so that you will get the season 1 weapons when you want season 2 weapons. Which means that veteran players would have, wouldn't have to hoard their season 1 weapons in their vaults or inventories, and could dismantle them if they want, because they have the chance to get them back if they so choose so. This system also makes it so that veteran players don't continuously get the same season 1 weapons over and over and over again and make it so they can get season 2 weapons that they want and it doesn't pollute them so they just continuously get annoyed with the game trying to get a season 2 weapon when they um, when they actually just get season 1 weapons over and over again and actually makes them so they want to play the game more because they actually feel rewarded when they do stuff. Now there are so many other reasons why Bungie should implement this system into the game but I am way too tired to write any other reasons, and I'm just going to go to bed now. And also, the positives, to, the other positives to the system are just so obvious that I don't really need to say them, because Bungie should be able to find them, and if they can't, well, that's a bigger problem that I can't handle, and they have to fix themselves. Okay, see ya. I'll see you next video. Bye.